What's going on, everyone? You're listening to episode 48 of True to Size. What is good, CGS family, and welcome to True to Size. We are a weekly podcast centered around the amazing world of sneakers. 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 I will be your host today. My name is Alvin Quincy, and I am joined with the rest of the family, Joel the Duneberg Hernandez. (laughs) Aloha. And of course, the littlest broski. Lawrence L. Doggy Hopkins. Salut, salut. Hey, so I know you guys heard like a different voice that as the uh, as the yeah, intro, a, deep a voice. new voice. Deep. That is the uh, the voice of a guy that I've personally known and has possibly influenced my sneaker game possibly. early on as a child. Um, he is our cousin Kuya to the Keith. What's good, guys? Hey, what's going on, guys? Thanks for being here, man. Why are you putting on your like sexy <laughs> voice, dog? It's not. It's That's like, that late night R and B radio station night. voice. It's my, it's my phone voice. It's talking <laughs> to <the> ladies. <laughs> it's after, your, after your customer dark. service voice. So, so sorry, ladies. He is he is getting married in the summertime. So as much as his voice is sexy, you're gonna have to wait in line for a really long time, possibly forever. I'm getting married, not buried. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> It's All right, been so three minutes. <laughs> already He's ruining already a marriage. In <laughs> already in trouble. All jokes, all jokes. Love all you. right, so on today's show, aside from Keith's soulography, Ooh. is that good? You like that? Ooh, I like nice. that. Soulography. 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 Exactly. <laughs> um, so we're going to be taking a look at some cl- upcoming collabos. A custom that broke the internet for all the Justin Timberlake fans, aside mm. from Lawrence. Cause I didn't even know. He didn't even know. I don't have Twitter. Um, mm-hmm. and then Puma teasing some new tech and possibly a questionable release. I don't Question- know. We'll talk about it. it. Is we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. But first, fire round. Nice. There I'm it is. Back, baby. Hey, it's back. <laughs> <I'm> back. <laughs> <laughs> so we like to start off every show with a quick hitting question from you, our listeners. And this week's question is from at no, it's just Bob. What's oh, his name? Oh, nice. I think it's just Bob. Oh, okay. Bob. <laughs> Is it Bobby or Billy or Billy? Just Bob. Just Bob. Robert. Um, Robert. 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 Oh, yeah. Robert. Robert. Roberto. Roberto. So his question was: Not sure if this has been asked, but what inspired your IG alias? Oh. So how I wanted to answer this was: We can each say what inspired or how we came up with our, and then we could talk about Canada Soul, mm-hmm. and then uh, yeah. So Keith, what inspired? Where did it come from? At Mr. KT. To be honest, it's kind of cheesy, but. Um, like I'm a true, true like Justin Timberlake fan. So his yeah. first album, his first album, there's a track with Timberland, and Timberland's just kind of like Mr. JT. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I used to go, oh, get it, Mr. KT. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what happened was we were we we're I don't know I was out somewhere downtown and uh, it came on, mm. and uh, I was with my boy Ed, and he was just the song came on. He's like, Yo, Mr. KT. <laughs> <laughs> and it just kind of stuck, stuck kind of stuck. stuck yeah nice. so. sick bro yeah so i kind of go with mine i got mr Qmart from mr kt <laughs> <Did you> actually? <laughs> yeah i was like I, yo it was a, such a struggle for me to try to find like an ig name really and i saw keith so i'm like yo he's like my idol sort of he's like a bigger brother <laughs> i'm a mister i'm a mister <laughs> mr Qmart. and i was like i kind of i kind of sound like a a supermarket <laughs> <laughs> it does sound like a supermarket yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's how i got mine could you um, the way I got mine is, it's pretty much almost the same as Keith's, but <laughs> it was like my, my homie at work, he would always call me like Dune. Like, like, yo, what up, Dune? And it just stuck. Like, from where though? Just out of nowhere? It just out of nowhere. <laughs> just out of nowhere. True. And it just stuck and, and it just kept calling me that, calling me that. And then it just went with, you know, Joe Dooney. That's how it came out. True. Out. True. That so if he sense. called you Miguel, you'd be like, I would, I'd become Mc- Joe, Joe, Miguel. Joe Miggs. <laughs> Joe Miggs. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's my turn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely is. Um, yeah. So, like, when I first started at Full Locker and when I first met Alvin, um, a bunch of people at Full Locker started calling me El Doggy. Same thing. I don't know where. I don't know where the that hell it came me. from. Yeah. I don't know where it came I just from. Started, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> I was Filipino. I just Man had to give me uh, random yeah. names for the, the white guy with the long hair, a really hood name. I think it was um, me, and, uh, me and Wendell. Yeah. Wendell was out there. Exactly. Too. Yeah. 
Um, so that kind of stuck for a long time. And I was like super against the whole Twitter, Instagram yeah, thing. Sure. I think it actually started on Twitter. I was like, Twitter's stupid. It's just Facebook. Yeah. Like it's the same shit. Clearly I was wrong. Um, but then I actually vi- vividly remember we were on the streetcar. I think we were actually going to a, a sneaker event. We were with Wendell, Alvin, all of us actually, I think we're there. Um, and I was like, Hey, I'm going to get, uh, Twitter if I can think of a really cool name. And we were like brainstorming, like what goes around El Doggy, El Doggy, El Doggy. And there was Wendell actually. Wendell, yeah. He was like, what about El Doggy Styles? Yeah. <laughs> and it was like a mic drop. It was like, yeah, <laughs> that's it. So that and it just stuck since then. And yeah, yeah no, here I we are. That. I wish it wasn't that, but it is. <laughs> Sick. Now, yeah, do it. you wanna do you wanna talk about how we did the whole Canada Got Soul thing? That's all you, bro. What? That's all you. That's all you bro. Go ahead. I didn't. It was all. It was both of us. <laughs> I know, but I want you to tell. All it. right. So essentially, we were sitting in my parents' basement. I think it was right after one of the sneaker uh shows we did sounds about right i think it was after the one that cleveland was there cleveland got (laughs) soul (laughs) uh yeah and real talk that's that's where we got the name from cleveland got soul we're like man if cleveland got soul canada does too (laughs) (laughs) literally no we talked we we tried to talk about other names but they were also dumb yeah Uh it was like canada got or canada's kicks or yeah all those are just fire kicks or it was really we weren't feeling it and then one of us said Canada Got Soul, and we looked at each other with, like, the widest eyes with love. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's that's when Canada Got Soul was born. Nice. It's pretty in, sick. In his parents' basement. Yep. On <laughs> Valentine's Day. <laughs> it was, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it was Valentine's well, it's coming Day. Up, it's February coming up. February 14th. Our anniversary yeah. is coming up, bro. Anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you, No It's Just Bob, for that question. If you would like to submit a question for the fire round or have a... Oh, wait, wait. No. Oh. And have us answer it on the pod. <laughs> Please shoot us a message on Instagram or email us at canagotsoul at gmail.com. Thanks, man. What's his name? Robert? Robert. Bob. No, no it's just Bob. No, right? it's just Bob. It's okay. just Bob. It's just Bob. Just Bob. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just Bob. <laughs> uh, it is now time for CGS Picks. picks, picks so, picks, each week, we all pick an upcoming sneaker to analyze, dissect, give our thoughts, and update y'all about. Um, and then we decide if it's a poop, scoop, a whoop de whoop, or my personal favorite, which is apparently trademarked. Yep. Um, just cute. Just cute. Yeah. So we're gonna start off with El Doggy Styles. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, so my pick this week is a pair that I really hope actually releases. Mm. Um, it was seen by the one and only Russell Westbrook uh, a couple days ago, I think. With the thing. With the, the thing. The box. Oh, not, oh. not even the box. Like the care. Yeah. With yeah. The, whatever Packaging. you want to call Packaging. it. Yeah. Um, the super soaker Westbrook, why not 0.2? Sick. Um, so just off the bat, like the Westbrook, the first colorway of the Westbrook 0.2 has been one of my favorite basketball shoes for a couple weeks now. Like mm. I, as soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, this is it. Um, and I'm actually writing a review on it as we speak. I started it earlier. Sick. Um, but to be honest, the colorway of the, the super soaker, I guess it's being dubbed is kind of meh to me. Like it's a lot of white and I don't usually do white shoes. Mm-hmm. Um, but the packaging, man, like That's they absolutely hit it out of the park. Yeah. So if you guys haven't seen it, uh, Westbrook was basically just spotted carrying what would look like you would walk into Zeller's and see like a cardboard packaging for a water gun with like the, the zip, the white yeah, zip, the zip ties, ties holding it in yeah. place and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was the shoe zip tied to like cardboard packaging. And I saw it and I was like, holy crap. Like that is absolutely sick. Um, so hopefully it gets a release. I highly doubt it would actually come out with that packaging, but if it does, I think that is a scoop for me. Oh yeah. I love that. Yeah. Like that the kind packaging. of storytelling and that kind of like nineties yeah. nostalgia for me is like, yeah, you got me easily. Super dope. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm gonna go with the, if it comes with the packaging, scoop, <laughs> scoop, scoop, the scoop. All right. So now we'll go with my pick, which is the new balance X concept 997 S. So the 997 S silhouette was made popular by. Uh, Ronnie and his collabo Who? with Ronnie, our boy Ronnie. Oh, friend of the show. Friend, yeah, Calby's like, oh, okay. like cousin or something. Yeah, cousin, cousin. yeah, I think they're related. Yeah, something like yeah. that. Blood cousins or <laughs> whatever. Um, so anyway, they're, they're coming out with a 997S of their own. Um, so my personal favorite of that specific silhouette is the midsole and how they kind of restructured it and mm. kind of made it look a little bit more cooler. <laughs> more cooler indeed <laughs> more cooler. uh and then it, this was literally just a tease it wasn't even the full shoe like all we saw was like the, the back of the shoe and it's like mm. a purple it's like a concept 
yeah. colorway. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and Concept always comes out with some dope colors. Shout out to Dion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Dion released like a teaser and man, it's dangerous. That's it. Yeah. So if, if these drop or if these come to Canada or if I can somehow find them somewhere. Sell yourself for a pair, whatever it takes. I will <laughs> I will figure something out. And these these are definitely a a whoopty mother whoopty scoop scoop <laughs> never poop you know what i'm saying never ever poop. Nice. we never poop because of joel never poop <laughs> <laughs> what you got so what i got is um as soon the, as the uh, podcast starts joel like gets asthma or something i, know, like, man. Can't stop coughing. I wasn't coughing upstairs man. <laughs> it's yeah. just really stuffy down here yeah, that's it's what like, it is man. it's a lot it's of body these, heat. all these damn shoes <laughs> but anyway so what i my pick was the uh, overkill by adidas consortium zx 10.000 c i can't if i want yeah, you it's can. It's a collabo. It is a crazy collabo. Unfortunately, it's only available at the Overkill store. Europe, which really right? sucks. Europe, yeah. Yeah, Europe. Europe. So, it is, it's it's pretty much like it's Team Overkill's like their favorite colorways of the of, you know, past ZX mm-hmm. models, right? Mm-hmm. And it's pretty much like a what the, you know, ZX What the ZX? Pretty um shoot. And uh sold me. It comes with a third shoe. That's the that's the weird word. Oh wait, what? Pretty cool what? part about it. Please explain. Yeah, so you get you get the two pairs, the okay. two different pairs, right? Yeah. The pair shoe. Like a left and a right. A left and a right, yeah. both different shoe, different oh, colors. Mismatched oh, looking. Okay. Yeah. But then they throw in a third one. <laughs> that packaging is now so the third funny. one you could you could like, you know, I think you could either uh trade it out with another person to get Oh, you know, the, the pair right that you like, shoe. Oh, yeah. oh, to get the funny. proper shoe or, or whatnot. But it's <laughs> it's a pretty crazy. That's kind of cool though. Crazy, pretty crazy drop. Is it a left yeah. foot or a right foot? The actual one. Or that it's I random? don't know. Is it's it just probably random? a random, 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 random. Is it like foot? a mid? You can wear it on both feet. Like you can yeah. just see forums go ham. Like yo, who has yeah, who has this one? Who has this one? Seriously, right? that's crazy. Yeah, man. So it, that random pair is like the best colorway. Oh, for sure. That's definitely like the craziest one. Can you imagine? But yeah, so it drops. You know, February 9th at Overkill. For two hundred and twenty euros, I don't. That's like at least nine hundred. Like five hundred, nine hundred. Yeah, a yeah. thousand dollars between there. Yeah. yeah, between five hundred and a million dollars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, my, my I, I gave it a, uh, a, a no, no, a no. <laughs> <laughs> because only because it's no. only it's only available no. at the store. So no, guys. Joel just came up with a new rate. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's no. Joel's new favorite. It's just no. no. <laughs> Sounds it's like a whoop, it's confusing whoop, Joel whoop the no. Whoop the no. Oh, man. Man. Uh, Damn. Well, great picks. Yeah. Sorry that that was just a no, Cuzzo. I know, sad. man. Oh, no. Damn. Oh, no. So now it's time for This Week in Kicks. Kicks, kicks, kicks. So we have a whopping six. Six? Yeah, six things to talk about. That's a big one. The first one on the docket was actually courtesy of... Our special guest at Mr. KT, aka Kuya Kit. Um, <laughs> Kuya Kit? Kuya Kit. Like oh, Ronnie. <laughs> like Ronnie. Hey. Uh, so he, something on Instagram, I can't remember if he tagged me or whatever, but, uh, it was, it was JT's custom Jordan 3s that I received for his birthday. And essentially it's like a red plaid with elephant print and it's like beautiful. It looks like it's all plaid. And it, but they like made the elephant print, print like plaid as well, yeah. mm-hmm. and then they got like a a red buffalo plaid shirt, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and when they put that on like the toe box, and yeah, it just looks. It honestly, you can do it with like a wool three. Yeah, it looks like the base is a wool yeah. three. For yeah, sure. so yeah, sick. yeah, because it definitely it looked like they definitely painted on. Yeah, the elephant print. Yeah, um, it looks yeah. like the yeah. But like even like the lacing, it's, it looks like it's rope. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. just small yeah. details it's like, like that. Off white looking, like sail. Super sail dope looking. Yeah. yeah, super dope. I really hope that this is JT's like teasing us. Yeah, yeah. It's not, not actually a custom. Not actually custom. custom. Yeah. yeah, the one I tagged you guys into, it showed the back and it had like the man in the woods tour <sighs> instead of like the Nike swoosh. Wow. <sighs> so yeah, I'm down. <laughs> yeah. I line up for those for sure. <laughs> I'm already in line. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. I'll just join the line. I don't know if I can purchase one. Yeah. It's okay. We'll <laughs> just, figure it out. Just line up. Our <laughs> <laughs> just line up just to be there. <laughs> oh man! And then so our next thing on the docket is is a Nike Hirachi Edge by Heron Preston. Mm-hmm. Um, man. So essentially, Heron Preston. If you guys don't know who he is, 
He is an artist, creative director, content creator, clothing designer, and a DJ uh, who's essentially become a, a cultural icon. Um, he's worked with Ben Trill. He's been a digital producer for Nike. And he's worked with, like, JT. obviously, JT. Yeah, JT's um, clothing line first. Virgil player. Abloh yeah. and Ye. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So, I mean, he knows what he's doing, man. And essentially, he made these uh, Hirachi edges um in, for the nfl like it's, mm-hmm. it's that colorway yep mm-hmm. um i don't know man i think it's pretty cool i like them and they're clean i like that they're getting like they've realized okay designer collabs are selling again after yeah. virgil and now they're like yeah. all right let's throw the vault at every yeah. single designer and they're like let's yeah. work basically but i like how he didn't choose like a classic silhouette he kind of went with a newer one. Oh, for sure 100 yeah. percent, yeah and i'm not even a huge fan of the hirachi edge to no. begin with but Me he neither. did definitely did his thing on this one yeah i like that it was like so the shoe itself is like mostly black mm-hmm. and then it's got hints of like what was it blue yellow and mm-hmm. i think I saw some red in there too yeah super clean shoe really proud <laughs> of one. my homie Heron Preston, you know, <laughs> Heron, he's a cool guy. Heron. Heron. Ooh, the next one's pretty cool. Uh Puma Self Lace Tech. Yeah. Oh, oh, Doggy oh. found this one. Yeah. Which is pretty dope. It's kind of ironic cuz do you guys remember, I don't know if this is completely accurate or not. Um but a couple years ago Puma had, I don't remember what it's called. Remember the Twist laces? Oh, the yeah, disc. Oh, the, the disc, disc the Puma yeah. disc. Yeah. I love those ones. That's yeah. the first I can ever remember of like a a non-normal lacing system lacing on a system, sneaker yeah. Yeah. Um, other than like pump or whatever but that stuff's not really lacing um, so I found it kind of ironic that Puma like is introducing it because if you look at it it looks a lot like disc lacing like yeah. it's very thin like wires pulling a shroud down onto the shoe um, but for some reason when I saw it I was like damn Nike did such a good job making me think that auto lacing was just a Nike thing Yeah, <laughs> because I saw it and I was like biters <laughs> 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 but i was like wait like this is just a new thing it's gonna be like everybody's gonna have something Literally, like this yeah um like it's this exact same thing like you can use it on an app like you can adjust each individual shoe you can loosen mm-hmm. tighten at will yeah um but yeah i don't know what it was but i saw it and i was like damn like nike literally brainwashed me into thinking like this is just gonna be nike um, yeah but i'm pretty sure the future is that well so. it doesn't help it that we're like, like freaking swoosh heavy yeah we're very swoosh yeah. heavy yeah mm-hmm. i mean we try our best to expand but we're not very good at it <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> admittedly yeah it's okay it's not our fault it's fine but yeah good for puma like that's really cool yeah, yeah really cool. i'm liking how they're trying to keep up with all the uh all the other brands and like all the new technology like the mm-hmm. fact that they've released like the video of like a working model yeah. what last week i think it yeah. was yeah previously in kick, last week yeah. or this week in kicks whatever mm-hmm. um like that's what two weeks after nike so they've clearly been working on this for a long time yeah, yeah. yeah they're ready to to show a, a model of it so yeah. they're keeping up it's good where's the other brands at so i'm saying right. new balance adidas where are they at i want to see some self lacing sock no that's not self lacing but you don't have to tie a slip it's on no lacing. it's no lacing no slip on's been done i want to <laughs> see self lacing true yeah van's been doing slip ons yeah for real yeah, jeez <laughs> now we're gonna say van's is auto lacing <laughs> next on our docket is the re-release of the galaxy foam posit one what do you guys think about this like this this shoe was for the all-star break in what 2012 wait what did you say phone posit sorry did i say phone posit phone rookie. posit what rookie. Posit. no it's the rookie the rookie i think then someone named it the phone posit one <laughs> i actually anyway, saw a picture of today one. i thought it was a phone posit too yeah no, the, my rookie, bad, the rookie the no rookie the rookie's one. coming back yeah, yeah but still it's the galaxy rookie yeah but like I but still no think, even man? still like the, yeah lawrence like, what I, are you you're the galaxy man what do you think that's the thing like you would think that i would see it and be like yeah sick cool um but i was kind of like like why Mm-hmm. like that's one of those things where it was such a huge release like massive like cultural yeah. shift after that like mm-hmm. galaxy is arguably one of the things that shifted like reselling all those lineups oh, all sure. that thing like changed a bunch of things yeah. um whatever year it was 2011 or 12 and now all of a sudden randomly and at the end of february they're releasing yeah. the rookie yeah. just the rookie for no apparent reason yeah. and they didn't announce it there's no story behind it it's just, just like, like a drop here's the rookie mm-hmm. um and like Canada never got that shoe. Like the rookie ca- never came to Canada originally. No? Yeah, no. Um, the phone posit did. It was yeah. just a couple stores, but the rookie nobody got it. What? And now all of a sudden, I hope they just don't gr it and just like beat it up. Like it deserves a lot better than that. I think. Yeah. Um, Does the do it? To, I was I'm wondering if the box says anything like QS or. I think it says QS. I believe it says QS. Okay, so it's a quick strike. Yeah, it is a quick strike. 
Um, they seem like they're going to be limited. Yeah. Um, and I did compare them. Like I've seen both in, like I have the other one and I've seen the other one in hand. Um, they're similar. The new one is a little bit glossier. It's a little bit more saturated, I guess you'd say. Like True. the color pops a little bit more. Like it's yeah. brighter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but they overall, like they did a pretty good job. It's just my question is why? Yeah. And when you say like you're releasing this stuff, it's kind of like opening Pandora's box. Like where does this like, end what now? What else are you? Yeah. What release? else is like coming yeah. down the pipeline mm-hmm. that you're like just doesn't need a re-release? Yeah. Like it's too yeah. soon, or you're doing it wrong, yeah. or like. Oh. I don't know. Nike doesn't do it wrong too often, I don't think. Usually they're pretty good with keeping stuff sacred for the mm. most part, but this is just so out of left field for me that I'm I don't know. I'm now, shook. Are they, are they do you think that they're dropping it because of the whole like the hype about like the whole NASA stuff right now? Definitely possible. Like yeah. all the like know, with the other stuff. NASA but the thing there. is all that stuff is already out. Like it's already come out or mm-hmm. it is coming out. Like All Star Weekend this year is whole NASA and mm-hmm. space theme again. Yeah. But the Galaxy rookies are slated for like late February or something like that. Yeah. Like it's so like out of nowhere. I just don't understand it. Mm, yeah. Like if there's more story to come, then sure, if they can find something. But it's kind of like when they retroed the Dornbacher line a couple of years ago. I think it was 2015 when the threes came back the out. The threes, yeah. After like a four year hiatus, you're kind of like, but like why? Yeah. Like just for what reason? Like it's dope. Like for the people who weren't able to get it, like cool. Mm-hmm. But there's just, I think you need to, for those kinds of releases, you need to attach some sort of meaning to it. You can't just throw shit you're out kind there. kind of saturating that. Yeah. You're cool. just like, it was special. And now it's just like, here you go. Everyone can have it now. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. It's, I'm obviously just saying a lot of stuff because I already have them too. So it's kind of like salty. Yeah, old but it was like your, it was like your <laughs> prized possession for a bit. Yeah, like I, until... that was the first I had that before I had the phone posit. Like yeah. that's what I had first from the Galaxy Pack. Yeah, and yeah. That was, that's what kind of sparked like, okay, I gotta get the rest. Yeah. So yeah, for me, it's like, why? Like it's such a special shoe. Maybe it's just only special to me, but like, it, it deserves oh, better yeah. than that. Yeah, yeah. No, I, th- I think. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's crazy. Um, and the next one we're gonna talk about is is not sneaker related, but kind of sneaker related. So Pusha T teams up with Grailed. So if you guys don't know what Grailed is. Um, it's a site where you can sell off your hype stuff. It's like streetwear Kijiji. Streetwear Kijiji, but like, like expensive, stupid yeah. expensive streetwear Kijiji. Um, so he teamed up with them and they're calling it Pushes Purge. Yeah, I saw that. So they're releasing like maybe roughly about a hundred pieces of his stuff that he's worn. Um, and another cool thing that, that they did was they did like a kind of a mini interview with him. Mm-hmm. Uh, just just talk about his style, how it's evolved, and how it's changed since he was, you know, with uh, with Malice, mm-hmm. his yeah. duo mm-hmm. brother, um, and then since he's gone to good music and how everything's changed and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I looked at it; a lot of his stuff is still hella expensive. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, um, but like some like the shoes, like some of the some some of the Yeezys, Adidas Yeezys he had, they're mm-hmm. they're below retail. Obviously, they're used, but like man, still, he's wore them. Like, that's pretty what, cool once. though. Like yeah. Pusha mm-hmm. wearing it, that kind of comes down to the talk we had previously. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Would you wear a PE? Is that considered a PE? Like, did you buy it because you're looking for a Yeezy below retail, or are you buying it because Pusha T wore it and you're like, those is going in a case now? Mm-hmm. I think people will put it in a case. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I Pusha wore it. I don't know, man. Even if I got it for below, re- it was my size. <laughs> he's a size 11 yeah. he's a size 11 and i don't know i think i think i'd wear it especially if i got it below retail yeah it would depend like if he signed it and like if, he oh, if it's it signed and stuff yeah for like a monumental like yeah, performance guess, yeah. or like a cd release yeah. then maybe i'd like put it in the case but like if he wore them when he was on stage getting jumped in toronto or whatever you'd be like oh, yeah. i'm wearing that <laughs> yeah, like, yo yeah. put your t got jumped in these <laughs> i wear those man but i don't um, know man I think Yachty did that a couple, a while back. I don't know exactly when, but he did that. And Yachty has a bunch of Supreme and stuff, yeah, but he, he was selling it for like market value. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if people were buying it because like it's just market value Supreme or if they're buying it because like, yo, little Yachty you own this. Like it's, it's mine now. Like, yeah, I don't know. I'd be interested to know the mindset of the people who are buying that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Like if they're buying it for personal or because the it's someone else's personal or because it's discounted. Yeah. Yeah, 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 discount for sure. That would be my thing. Mm-hmm. It probably depends on your affiliation with them if you yeah. like push a T enough. Yeah. I mean, ever since his beef with Drake, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. I've been love push a T. <laughs> All right. And the last thing on our docket is the Game of Thrones X Adidas collabo. Mm-hmm. Um, I think so, this is really right up Keith's lane. Word. Oh. They're all. They're all literally so. So you have a pair of Ultra Boost, Ultra Boost, right? Yeah. Ultra Boost. As if I don't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's six pairs of Ultra Boost, and each pair represents 
one of the kingdoms. So here's the thing. So it's not necessarily up my alley, but like definitely my older brother RJ's alley. Mm-hmm. Like he even he tells me all the time. He's like, uh, I only wear boots, and I think it's because it's more of a comfort thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. But I'm personally uh, not a fan of it. No, I, I think I think the only one I kind of rate is the. Um, Stark one, the red joints. Is it the red one with the gold like in it? Maroon. Yeah, maroon? I think it's a, yeah. I think that's the only pair, and it's just like if I see them in an outlet, I maybe maybe one pick of them up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I. It's I nothing mean, special to me. Yeah. yeah, definitely a cool concept. For some reason, I thought you like Game of Thrones, and oh, like, huge fan of Game oh, of are Thrones. You? It's yeah. the colorways. Were just... And I know you have a couple. Have a couple Ultra Boost. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Apologies. We'll, we'll talk. We'll, we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk about that. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Solve the moon. Solve sorry. The moon. Sorry. We'll talk. We'll talk. <laughs> no, nah, I just I'm not a fan of how it's all the same silhouette. Yeah, I know like, what you mean. If you're gonna make it like for different kingdoms, so you wish they kingdoms. you wish they Dragon Ball Z it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. I yeah, feel yeah, like you yeah. need to. Yeah. Because like having all the same silhouette, you can't. You don't. I mean, yeah, you change up the colors, but you're not really representing the each of the kingdoms to their fullest potential yeah i agree you know what i mean like i just like what they're doing with the massive collections yeah like i think that's very cool and the the names like the franchises they're attaching are like dragon ball z and game of thrones are like massive huge fans of both like hbo it's easily the biggest hbo show and then like anime dragon ball z is obviously Mm -hmm. one of the biggest ever yeah Yeah. so like bruh like what's next for them like if they do pokemon and shit like that like bro it's it's over like some of the collections that they could do like I'm, they're yeah. they're they're perking up my ears not because I'm a huge fan of what they've done but what they could do. Yeah, 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 and that's what like, that's what it is too. Like they could have done so much with this Game of Thrones collabo. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, yeah, like I if just they added like, like a, a family emblem on it or that. something. Yeah, something. like on the heel or yeah, the tongue, like yeah, the yeah. 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 I don't know. I just feel like it. This to me doesn't seem like you put too much thought into it's it. It's underwhelming for sure. Yeah. When you hear Game for, of Thrones, you imagine dragons yeah, and man. medieval and yeah. Like put some spikes yeah. on it or something. Like, <laughs> put it on a different silhouette. Like there's so Adidas has so many wicked silhouettes. Like imagine like a mm-hmm. shell toe, but it's like looks like a dragon or something. You know what I like, mean, dog? Like bro. fam. Adidas hit us up, we can design your shit. Cut the check. Yeah. Cut the check. <laughs> and now it's previously in kicks. Rewind. So this is when we talk about stuff that we've picked up. If we've picked up anything, guys. What did you get last week, Alvin? What did you what get? What did I get? What did we get? What did we get? We got. What did you we get? You we got <laughs> the New Balance nine nine seven H. Um, those are fire. Damn, they look good. I mean. For, for, first of all, the price point is like yeah. one twenty mad, the reasonable. most reasonable. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. it. Eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and for the quality that you're getting, like okay, I'm not saying it's like premium, premium, like New Balance quality, but it's like not it's, made in England, made in no, USA yeah, quality, kind of quality. But right. it's better quality than a lot of other things that I've seen for on the sure. market right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Big facts. Um, and like everything's clean, like no stitching, no glue. Like mm-hmm. you're. You're, you're getting what you pay for, for sure. And it's New Balance. And they're mad comfy. How would you guys like them? Did you guys put them on foot yet? So good. They're comfortable, yeah, man. Real comfortable. They're so good. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. that's sh- the shape of them is, like, perfect. Yeah. Like, I perfect. Agree. Yeah. And yeah, the, the fit. Oh. And the, oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Really good shoe. Perfect. Keith's going to buy a pair soon. Sorry, yeah, Keith. Yeah, Keith. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Slash, sorry, Aaron. Yeah. If you haven't seen them yet. <laughs> that's who you should apologize to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> if you haven't seen them yet, Alvin has a review up on them. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I do. I totally forgot. But you got, we, you, we got something else last week, too. Did we? Starts with a C and ends with Uri. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh that was last week. I thought it was. Yeah, no, I think it was like mid last week. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was after last week's, after we recorded okay, last so week. You talk yeah. about that one because I talked about this one. Yeah. Well, I have another one too, so I was going to let you take one. So just keep going. So okay, her. so yeah, so last week we were blessed by the uh, Under Armour family with a yet another yeah, pair yeah, of Curry yeah. Sixes. Um, last week, fuck, what was it called? The blue one. What was it called? Underrated. underrated underrated yeah my yeah. fault i just got the, it the the yeah. curry six underrated um so it's basically based on the uh original golden state jersey the navy blue with a little bit of orange kind of hits to it mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. um really really clean silhouette i love the the hits of orange is kind of on that uh string whatever like you want to call it yeah the boat shoe looking yeah, yeah. Part of it? yeah um really cool touch um and it's basically just an ode to him being underrated his entire career like he was drafted what mm. six round or something stupid like super far i'm definitely wrong yeah he wasn't that. drafted like where he nowhere was near he should have been drafted yeah, yeah. Mm. there was a lot of knocks on him too like could yeah defend, yeah, yeah exactly dribble, yeah like, 
So that's what it's been based on. And then his style of game, like you said, when he got to the NBA, it was like knocked upon. Like this guy is just sh- jacking up shots. Like he has no mm-hmm. shot. What's he doing? And now all of a sudden, look who we're talking about. Like we're talking about the MVP. Yeah. Um, yeah. Super clean silhouette. Um, available now on UA.ca. Yep. Um, thank you, Under Armour. Mm-hmm. Today, another pair showed up. Hi-yo. Um The Under Armour WOE, which stands for Working on Excellence. Um, so the Working on Excellence is a homage to that mindset. It's a reminder that the grind and constant push to be better than you were the day before. Stefan has the initials WOE, which is Working on Excellence uh, tattooed, tattooed on his yeah. bicep. Yeah. Um, so that one, as soon as I opened it, I was like, is this a Concord? Like, it yeah, looks right? like the, the blocking it is does. like super Concord ish. Yeah. I'm not sure if like yeah. Under Armour would love or hate to hear that, but it's a good thing. Like, it's the Concord clean. is classic. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. clean cut, like almost dressy. Like, when you make mm-hmm. a black and white shoe, it should be like classy, as yeah. Jim Halpert from The Office would say, like, de classe. <laughs> like, that needs to be <laughs> fancy, man. And it looks so good. <laughs> Um, so that pair is super dope. It drops on February 8th. Um, so that'll it's be the week. day you listen to this, I think. What day is it today? The 4th? Something like that. Yeah. By the time this episode's out, you'll be able to buy it, yeah. I think, mm-hmm. um, on UA.ca. So thank you again to Under Armour. Word. Thank you. You guys, Joel, did you pick up anything? Anything? No. Could you get? Um, nothing you want to share on air? <laughs> no. Well, um, last week I was able to pick up the, Fear of God Skyline Twos. Oh, nice. Drew, for I, my Which heart color? stopped for a second. <laughs> I thought it was going to say. And Drew. also the fear. Of, no, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and those things too. Those. No, I, I actually really like them. I actually like them better than the uh, the super hyped one, just because the fear of God one. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, it's just like super simple. I've always wanted the pair of Skylines mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. Um, I just wasn't agreeing with like the colorways and stuff, but mm-hmm. when I saw those. Very clean. Um, yeah. And they yeah. have like a sale color as well. Like all sale. Oh, you got the black ones? I got the black ones. Yeah, I got the black ones. Yeah, nice. the black ones. Yeah. True. Um, yeah. But I want to get like the, yeah, like the sale ones. But right now those are going for What was, crazy did you pay it. retail for it or because Under. the retail, really? Yeah. So I was going to say retail yeah. was high. Retail yeah. was what, 185 or 200, I think. Yeah. yeah. I went through a for third Skylands. party source. Um, Stocks? And, um, <laughs> nope. No. Uh, the Oat app? The, Oat. <laughs> the Tom Brady app? The Oat app? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Tom- oh. Oh. Nice, wow. nice. Tom Brady app. Um, yeah, so they were like under retail. That's and, crazy. And Even bit, after conversion, shipping, everything. Um, yeah, probably just under by like 20 bucks. Dang. But still, nice. still That's under sick. retail. Yeah. That's yeah. sick. Yeah. Very good yeah. deal. Yeah. Nice pick. Um, and I had no idea how they were going to fit. Um, mm. So I ordered like true to size and mm. they actually fit great. So, Beautiful. Yeah. Nice. The only thing was the Fear of God branding is very subtle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's super subtle. Especially and I'm not like trying you to, can't see it. Yeah, I'm not trying yeah. to say you should be a brand whore and you're only buying because it mm-hmm. says fear of God, but you kind of are at some point. Like yeah. you're buying a like fear of God skyline. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I kind of want to be able to see it. It mm-hmm. is glossy though. It's very clean cut. Yeah. Yeah. Very sh- cool. There are some customizers that have made they that wrote it white. Out. Yeah. yeah, that oh, would be oh, sick. Oh, yeah, I'll do that for you, man. I'll give you. I got a sharpie in my car. Yeah. <laughs> no, just put just put L doggy. Yeah, I'm just gonna oh, scratch take out, it from me for a week and be like, yeah, I'll get back to you next week. And it's just gonna be a completely different shoe. <laughs> it's gonna have elephant it's print, color block, everything. <laughs> Galaxy. So oh my gosh! <laughs> now it's time for everyone's favorite segment of the show: E E and E, which that's how we're gonna introduce like an elephant. Uh, shout out to Lion and a Pickaxe for making it <laughs> errors, edits, and e messages. Smart nice. guy, making us uh, sound hella smart. Thank you, brother. Mm. Appreciate you. <laughs> uh, we got a few. We got a few. Um, at least I found a few. The first one is from um, our homie from Hamilton, Michael Williams. He is a uh, avid listener, so he said in Thank our you, Michael. little conversation here. Yo, what up? Um, I can't remember what we started talking about at first, but he he just said. Um, also, my man, keep grinding with the podcast and everything. Um, he says that we make his work days easier on Saturdays. Uh, he is a bus driver oh, in, um, nice, in nice. H-Town. And, nice. uh, he's Are like, you supposed to be listening to your headphones? Uh, take it in. <laughs> he's like, he's like, man, you guys make my drive so much easier, even though we ain't supposed to have headphones. <laughs> LOL. La, la, so la, shout la, la. out to my boy, Michael Williams, though. <laughs> Um, AirPods, AirPods. That's AirPods, how you do it. AirPods, right? AirPods. You don't see the string. Yeah. No. Word. <laughs> uh, our next one is from our homie Josh Goldstock. Yay. Uh, he says, FYI, the AJ1s are white and varsity red, not sale. Are but, you sure, Josh? 
I I I researched this because I wanted to defend us. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kicks on fire says sale. Mm-hmm. Sneaker news. I'm pretty sure it says sale as well. Yeah, what up, Josh? Like nice a try. lot of other sites. <laughs> now I I agree with them though. It doesn't look sale as sale as the regular sale. sale. But again, I haven't seen it in person. It doesn't look so white can. though to me. That's yeah, thing. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I mean, we'll see when they come out. I guess we'll see, yeah. Josh. We'll see when they come out and we'll <laughs> figure. This guy out. thinks he can just feed us some chicken and I'll just <laughs> <laughs> start for, start forgetting what sale looks like. <laughs> right? <laughs> Damn, son. Uh, and our next one was just like I think a conversation that maybe Lawrence had with it's Brian T K. Mm. Or it's yeah, Brian yeah, yeah. K. Yeah. Sorry, I totally said your name wrong. It's Brian K. Brian Brian K. Um so he was like he said, I was in the halftime show. He's talking about the the Super Bowl. Yeah, so we posted the picture of yeah. the uh Adam Levine and Travis wearing each a pair of Travis's. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then I think we captioned it on our story like yeah. all any of us saw during the halftime show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which sucked, by the way. Yeah. Um, yeah. I wasn't uh kinda, not okay, not sucked. It was kinda sucky, yeah. but that's it. Underwhelming. <laughs> Underwhelming, yeah. It just sucked, you know? Like the game. <laughs> like the game. Oh, the, the game. game was horrible. Yeah. yeah. Damn. That should be an error. That should be under this section. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing we're talking about it. <laughs> but yeah, that's the context of the conversation. Yeah. 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 So anyway, uh, Brian K said that uh, I was in the halftime show and that is all I saw. Their forward each day in rehearsals was ridiculous. Adam was wearing the CDG, CDG Prestos at, at Wednesday's rehearsal and the upcoming Desert One, what, Desert or Air Max 90s on the Thursday. Oh, nice. Oh, boy. What? Mm-hmm. I didn't even know Adam Levine was a sneakerhead. Uh, I think he's a hype beast. He's a hype beast. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he was wearing Supreme Boxers. Supreme Boxers. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's performing in Supreme Boxers. And like, why isn't he getting in trouble for showing his nipples? Like, come on. Yeah, I know, one. right? Equality, guys. Let the female do the thing. <laughs> I mean, free, free the nipple. nipple. Free you know nipple. what I mean? Yeah. Shoot. So now we're on to That's our cool, discussion. That's cool though. He was in the halftime show. I'm just like we're. I feel like we're Adam? overlooking that. He was in the half. No, the whatever. Uh, yeah, he was. Oh, Ryan, that's yeah. Crazy, yeah. That's so cool, man. Yeah, and he was literally <laughs> repping Canada, bro. Like, yeah. that's, Whoa. that's crazy. That's sick. He needs to let us know how he got that gig because yeah. I'm trying to get that job too. Yo, me too. Like, so did they fly saw, you was he like that hype man? Who he was saw in the, the rehearsal. He was on the he was rehearsals in, he too. Yeah, he was probably in there. You know, he might have been part of the crowd. Well, maybe he was like the hype, but people who were on the ground hyping it. Oh yeah, maybe. I don't know. At Brian K, if you listen let to us this, know. let yeah, us man. know, man. Yeah, and we'll bring it up next week. That's too. dope. Damn. Mm-hmm. Let us know how you got that job too, because we'll apply as well. Are you hiring? We can go as a crew. <laughs> yeah, we're as the Canadian there. crew. Yeah. yeah. All right. So our sole discussion for this week, I I called it soul insurance. Um, this came up from a very unfortunate event that happened to our Kuyakit. to our guest this our, week, our very special guest Kuyakit. Mm-hmm. and essentially it's just you know. Having insurance for your kicks. And cuz, do you want to let the uh, people know what happened, man? Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, um, I wish I was here for in better circumstances. But um, this past, uh, I think it was two weeks ago, mm-hmm. my storage locker got broken into. And 24 pairs of my Jordans, my Flyknit, uh, my Ultra Boost 1.0s. Uh, were unfortunately taken along with some of my our winter coats and uh, luggage pieces were also taken. Jeez, what? So yeah, it was uh, it was it was a sight to see for sure, mm. for sure. Did you have like an estimated value? Because I'm assuming you claimed it, right? We claimed it, um, but right now actually it's going through investigation, so mm. I'm not really sure if I could say anything mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. true true but i mean if you guys do the math like 24 pairs of shoes just with just the shoes just retail, yeah too. Just, just retail, retail. Yeah. yeah yeah you know carry the one and all that yeah. i mean Damn, i'm not a mathematician but that's a lot of money it's a lot of that's money lot yeah of money. yeah so um sorry that happened man no yeah no i appreciate it thank you mm-hmm. yeah but uh but yeah, so we're kind of going through the process now and um, talking with the insurance company, the insurance company and uh, the local authorities who have actually been really great. So that's that's sweet. Good. Yeah. That's good. yeah. I thought it would be difficult, but shout mm-hmm. out to the Toronto police. Yeah. yeah. Friends of the show. Friends of the show. So did, the, did, did you having place insurance on your shoes kind of help with the blow of, I mean, there's no, nothing can replace those sneakers, but they yeah. kind of help with that kind of blow of you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, like as soon as, uh, I moved in, uh, I mentioned to my partner, Aaron, I was like, look, you know, I'm going to be bringing some stuff here some that, that, uh, <laughs> yeah. that might, you know, be, be like, uh, you know, uh, pretty expensive. Mm. And, uh, I gave her a dollar amount 
and she laughed and I was and like she broke up with you <laughs> and uh no she said yes bro yeah, yeah that's yes. true yeah um, so she actually she put me on her insurance and stuff and um she mentioned like the contents and stuff like that that was gonna go in there mm-hmm. and she upped her insurance as well Sick. um so yeah it was uh, it was really cool like on her part to definitely do that oh, for sure. I, yeah so you had insurance on the whole locker itself or the like, whole locker yeah but once you put the shoes in you raised the deductible yeah. or whatever it is to, we yeah we accommodate the, yeah. yeah yeah we have the insurance policy uh, I understand. Yeah. dang joel lawrence have you guys ever thought of getting sole insurance i do under the whole renters here at the oh house. you have yeah, it yeah i have it so i'm pretty much covered as well so, like for anything stolen or yeah, no, yeah. if you have like a flood because your stuff's going to say or damage yeah, too yeah right mm-hmm. it covers damage as well it's covered damage yeah oh, oh that's good yeah Jeez. to be honest i would have rather it be like water damage mm-hmm. versus like Gone. someone taking knowing yeah, somebody yeah. else is getting yeah because at least you exactly. know you still have it yeah you can never wear it probably because yeah but at least it's there right yeah. yeah absolutely the thing was too the thing was really messed up and really kind of like messed with my psyche was the person had left they took like three boxes and then they were just probably thinking like you know what it's gonna take us forever so we'll just take the shoes out the box that's probably why they took your luggage mm, they probably packed the yeah. shoes in the luggage yeah um so then so when i got there i was you know i got a call from my security and they're like unfortunate and like your locker got broken into and i was on the road and i was just like Did your heart just like yeah i was just like man let me just get home let me just kind of like sort things out so i just tried to get home and then when i got home um i saw erin there she was kind of just kind of going through the 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 sorry the storage unit mm-hmm. and then i kind of walked over i'm like how you doing she's like oh man she's like i'm so sorry and but it kind of i didn't hit me until like i pushed some of the boxes and there were the boxes that i like really really like really really cared about yeah like, mm-hmm. yeah i was just like oh man so i pushed it and then like i'm not even kidding you guys i like just raged out like there was like yeah like i smashed a bunch of, like aaron had a aaron had a what is it her old like pieces of her old kitchen in there mm-hmm. and I, I smashed every single bit what yeah Fuck. Aaron wasn't cheese, bro. Not, like she's just yeah, she's trying to hold me back, but like, she understood. Of course. But I mean, yeah, that's when of I went course, off. Yeah. It was kind of just like I don't know. I'm not an angry person. I no, guess. not at no, all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's just kind of like when something like that happens, it's kind of like, you got to let it out. Yeah. 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 You can't Damn. hold that in. Yeah. yeah. Now, was there any like surveillance cameras? Uh, unfortunately, they didn't get they didn't catch the actual theft. Mm-hmm. Uh, Elevator surveillance or no? But they had the person. Um, they caught the person when they were like leaving the back uh, mm-hmm. of our like so our storage unit is kind of in another sister building kind okay. of thing so yeah, it's okay. like adjacent to our building mm-hmm. so they have footage of that mm-hmm. um, like license plate or whatever or just um, like, like people leaving with a bunch of shoes in mm-hmm. their hand is that what they got? I can't divulge oh, okay. yeah, 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 my bad, my how bad. many people were, were part of it um, but there was footage of the person um we weren't the only ones that were hit. Oh, oh man. man. Yeah. Um, man. But it was good that it wasn't like sloppy, like they had plastic bags in it. It's just yeah, like, yeah. You can see like, you know, my shoes in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was like they, they put it in like other people's like luggage. Oh, okay. And, and yeah, it was kind of just like, I don't know. I don't know if it's like closure, but I actually got more mad when I saw it, but it was just kind of like one of those things where, yeah, it was kind of just like, I don't know. It got me numb again. And, Damn, for yeah. sure, man. Yeah. Like, I've always considered it. Like, Same. people have brought it up. But, like, I still live at home. Yeah. So, it's kind of, for me, like, different. I guess yeah. if I had my mm-hmm. own crib, it would yeah. be like, yeah, like, I need to get something yeah. like yeah, this. But, like, to, a couple of years ago, maybe last year, actually, a couple of houses on my street got broken into. Um, Like, on my street. Like, my dad actually caught somebody across the street breaking into a house and, like, called the police and, like, caught the person. But, like, oh, just man. when it hits that close to home. Yeah, and I'm like just the way that I have like my shoes in my bedroom like it's kind of near a window but like it's not but if I don't know if you're at the right angle or whatever yeah. if you can see inside but like yeah. definitely shook me man cause yeah. like mm-hmm. bruh like I can't even imagine cause like I think you said and I guess you can speak more to this but it's not even at some point the dollar amount kind of fades and it's like the memory of each shoe like yeah yeah, like each shoe like the reason we're doing this the reason we're not reselling is because each shoe has a story yeah Yeah. there's a reason you keep it in your collection there's a reason even though it's not in your actual condo it's in your storage unit for a reason like you didn't get rid of it so like bruh 
like well i use a storage room to kind of just like filter out like what like a rotation rotation yeah, kind of thing yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah it's not like they were just like hiding shut yeah off okay <laughs> yeah it was kind of just like more of a rotation yeah, thing. yeah. but yeah. even still like yeah oh, man yeah yeah no ever since i moved out i definitely <laughs> wanted to do it but my sh- sneakers are upstairs in the spare in a closet um but I still want to do it because, like, you never know, man. Like, there could be a fire. There could be anything. Yeah, anything, yeah, like, anything. I just want to be able to, to not even buy the back, but just be able to have that value sort of come back to me somehow. Yeah. Well, yeah. like, even still, like, for same topic. Like, I have some pairs, maybe like a dozen, two dozen pairs in my basement that, like you said, like rotational things that I'm not going to wear in the winter. Mm-hmm. Um, and because this winter has been so like on and off, cold, hot, like snow, rain, everything. Yeah. Like, the, our basement actually leaked. Oh. Um, and like I came home and like oh. my parents had like a basement guy there and they were yeah. like mopping up the basement and shit. And the first thing I did was I sprinted downstairs and luckily the pairs were like kind of on the opposite side. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. but I was like, Oh my God, like this is getting you like, could have possibly had an Arvin. Yeah. Like, yeah. That yeah, Arvin yeah, thing. Yeah. Same thing. Like, bro. Like, I feel like it's just hitting it's so close man. to home. It's heartbreaking, yeah. bro. Especially when you hear your homies, like, like my fat, like Keith, my actual family. Yeah. So, like, when he texted me that, I was like, my yeah. heart broke, bro. I, was I like, think I needed sure, a couple hours to process, I think. So I found out like at eight at night, kind of slept on it. And I think I hit up Alvin the next, next afternoon. Yeah. yeah. And I you remember because... picture, bro. Yeah, yeah. So I had to take photos uh, for like the police and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and I was kind of just like, I took a picture and it was literally just like the worst kind of yeah. like sight to see yeah mm-hmm. and, and have to document oh yeah yeah, yeah. um so i sent it to alvin and it, it kind of almost sounded like an instagram rant but i was kind of just like you know just saying like you know when you buy your pairs you know kind of just like make sure you're not just having it just to have it mm. just like make sure you want to wear it and you want to like mm. you love you're wearing enjoying it, it. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah because you know unfortunately i had pairs that i didn't even wear so that's like the tough part because I, I had pairs there that i was like i was gonna wear like when I got married or like when I got, you know, when I die. <laughs> so, then, so then I was just like saying, I was just like, you know what, just, just buy something and it's like love wearing it. Yeah. 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 Every opportunity, just wear it. Yeah. Yeah. This is a bit of a wake up call, but like not one that we wanted yeah, to happen. No. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. 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 It's finding the blessing in disguise, I guess. Yeah. yeah. The light yeah. at the end of the tunnel kind of thing. Yeah. Because Ooh. hopefully like fingers crossed, everything works out either they mm. catch the guys and you can get them back or you can get the money and hopefully try and reclaim some of the pairs but like mm. yeah at least you're looking at the bright side like yeah I yeah. that a lot yeah because i don't know mm-hmm. if i'd be seeing any bright side like right oh man yeah, yeah. It's, rough. The, the, yeah. it's like the only thing you can do is kind of just go through the process and kind mm. of just like talk to whoever you need to talk to mm. and uh you know like insurance and like police and stuff like that and just be super detailed and uh yeah i mean i don't wish that on anybody yeah, no, yeah, for yeah. sure. Not even like, yeah, my worst enemy, but bro. Yeah. All right. So let's go. Let's kind of move on to a lighter note. Um, <laughs> let's move on to Keith's solography. Um, so just a little bit more detail on Keith. He is a five foot, eight and a half. <laughs> sorry. He's a five foot, 8.5 and a half inch purchaser of sneakers. Um, five, his, five, eight is like. So you're five. <laughs> With hair, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hair like included. With your your afro, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He 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 uses his hands to rub out bodily ailments on people. Oh, I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on, he'll explain. Hold on. Um, he taught he taught me how to be a player. I mean, gentleman. Um, <laughs> some 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 people might know him as KD. His mom definitely calls him Kit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've personally known him all my life. That's and, a long time. And bro. you guys, yeah. I'm old as fuck. I know. That means Keith's older though. So Way older. <laughs> um, some of you guys might know him as at Mr. KT, and we all know him as Keith. Cool, yeah. Cause you ready to answer some questions about yourself? Uh, yeah, ready. So yeah, ready for sure. <laughs> I mean, it might be hard because you're just talking about yourself. There's but... no math questions like last week. <laughs> Ooh, no promises, bro. Yeah, no promises. <laughs> so, how long would you say you've been in the game? Um. I don't know. It's hard because I kind of took a bit of, I would say hiatus, but um, yeah, kind of just like hiatus due to financial things, Mm -hmm. you know? Amen. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Uh, But I I probably cop like my first, like that I knew that was really dope pair was like the air up tempos. 
Oh yeah, yeah, See? Nice, yeah, nice. Mr. Pippen. He was influencing mm-hmm. me before he influencers even existed. <laughs> 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 so okay, since you said you took a little bit of a hiatus, what brought you back? Um. Financial reasons, actually. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, same well, reason that took you out. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, throughout like high school and stuff like that, I was kind of just like looking for things that were more affordable True. for as for a high school student, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and also like music influenced me. So there's like a lot of Air Forces in there. Mm-hmm. You know, like you're trying to like mimic all the rappers and stuff. So like mm-hmm. Fabulous was rocking, mm-hmm. like all mm-hmm. white Air Force lows. The keys rocking all white Air Force <laughs> lows. <laughs> Fabulous is rocking academics pants. Keys rocking academics pants. <laughs> okay. You know, so, um, yeah, so a lot of the times it was, uh, yeah, a lot of Air Forces. Um, actually, my boy, Mark Rockamora, wherever he is now, man, like, he kind of, like, influenced me to get back because this guy was coming in with, like, some Jordan 16s, like, Midnight Navies. He introduced me to, like, my very first, like, Saucony. This guy was coming up with some crazy, like, all all canvas, like, pure red with a white swoosh like uh air force one Mm -hmm. um so just like some crazy stuff i've never seen Mm -hmm. so him and i were kind of just trade shoes like all the time he showed me my very first like air jordan one patent leather like the black and gold swoosh Mm -hmm. yep and thinking now like looking at how much those are worth and i (laughs) I was like you know running around ttc with them Yeah. yeah 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 It's crazy, man. Jumping turnstiles. and (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You know, like, and the thing is, too, like, I'm a size, like, eight and a half, and those were, like, size nine and a half. Dang. So, I was there. You know, so so I'm thinking, like, because I'm going to grow. I was the same way, man. I was the same way. Double sock, you know what I mean? Yeah. Is that the Alex mentality? The Suji? Yeah. It'll fit one day. (laughs) No matter what size it is, it'll fit one day. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So, shout out to Mark Rockamora, man. Yeah. Shout Shout out to Mark. Mark. Shout out to Mark. You're on Instagram. I, yeah, you know what? I haven't seen that guy in a while. So, mm-hmm. but, um, and then college came, kind of progressed to more like Chucks and Vans. I lived in those. And, uh, like Jordan started coming up like maybe like late, man, like maybe 2013. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Alvin was crazy enough to start working at Foot Locker. Mm-hmm. It's his fault. Yeah. Yeah. So then it was kind of like my <laughs> fault. So then first I bought like some, I don't know, Air Jordan one mid, like fat mids that oh yeah the, the gray bur- the gray and the burgundy was, uh, the hey. neil mcneil color yeah 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 <laughs> and then a couple months <laughs> after that i was at the employee store and then they had the chicago ones <laughs> chicago ones uh like 2013 mm-hmm. it was 2013 and i bought those in a size nine and a half <laughs> and one day it'll fit one day yeah <laughs> yeah and then that's what kind of started off again like 2013 times yeah so let's take it back a little bit mm-hmm. what what's your origin story like what first got you into sneakers uh before your first hiatus, before yeah. my, before my first hiatus, before um, you came back, we're in the four or five. Um, it ain't to play games. And shit. It ain't, I was just gonna say. That. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I think it was more like definitely um, like music influence, you know, like especially like you know watching like BET, mm-hmm. you know, um, you get to see like what like Nelly had a song about Jays. Nelly had a song about Air Forces One, mm-hmm. Air Force Ones, right? So it's just kind of just like. Yeah, that's what kind of just, you know, pushed, pushed like the, unfortunately the money just wasn't able to cover it. But <laughs> that's what pushed the passion. This will push the passion. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you were kind of talking about this already, but like, what's your, your evolution, your sneaker evolution? My sneaker evolution. Yeah. So, uh, I guess like Air Force Ones, heavy and Air Force Ones, a couple of J's that. here and there. Mm-hmm. Um, college was more like, what's comfortable i started i started dressing differently too like gone were the boot cuts mm. went to like the slim fits so it started mm. to look better with like slimmer shoes so like chucks skater boy uh, some yeah. bands um yeah and then i started copying like jordans and stuff because i was at the employee store once and i saw this shirt and like they had all the jordan shoes from like one to i think one to one to 14 yeah, probably. Um, and they were all like the like OG colorways and stuff like that. But then, so then I was like, you know what? I'm going to get every pair that's on this shirt. <laughs> mm. I feel like everyone's been at that point where you're yeah, like, I yeah, want yeah. every single Jordan. <laughs> yeah. And then you start getting older and say, like, you can't afford that. Yeah, you're like, I'm not going to wear well, like, I'm not even going to wear those. <laughs> yeah. Why am I copying these like yeah. 15s? Where am I going to wear 12s? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So then when out, I, I don't know, like hanging out with Alvin and stuff too, Um, he'd show me all like the six sneaker spots and I've, um, we hit up some place in Hamilton, I think. La Sed. 
Yeah. You, bu- you bought Blazers. I bought P Rod twos. Like, oh my god, bro, that was boredom. Oh, boredom, yeah. That's even way that was like, further back. Oh, that was a yeah. spot. Oh, I think that was just like stuff. first year of college. Yeah, man. And uh, again, like because I wanted like the OG like Jordan stuff, like it, the P Rod twos that I bought were in for like uh, the Black Cement threes. Mm-hmm. Those were nine and a half too. <laughs> it was the last pair. And the craziest thing was they had yeah. they had Pee Wees there. They, they had, had they had the um. When the taxis, money cats when sb used money to cats. sit yeah dude mm. yeah purple dinos uh wow. actually yeah no i got into dunks too like in, in college because again like they were slimmer mm-hmm. they, before the fat tongue yeah. yeah 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 damn do you still have those p rods i was able to get my actual size damn um so i gave them to my buddy eugene actually because he's a nine and a half and Huge. I, I honestly wore those like maybe six times too so because they were too big yeah because they're too big and then <laughs> oh, the black man. cement threes came out and i'm not going to declare how much pairs i got of those <laughs> so then i just gave it to eugene and i plus i have like my p rods that are like my size too true mm-hmm. yeah true yeah. man when i was younger i remember you and queen mike had when the playoff the og playoff 12s came out like yeah i got those because my brother mike out. yeah he- and I remember seeing you guys wear them, and I was just like, fuck. <laughs> I looked down at my feet. I can't even remember what I, whatever I was wearing. But, like, man, I was just I was so envious. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> where's my pair? <laughs> That's probably how you sounded back then. Yeah, yeah exactly how I sounded. Yeah, when we but- were young, too, we used to switch shoes all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I used to, like, pretty much live with Alvin in the summertime. So we'd just, like, switch up shoes. Mm. But then... Then yeah. my foot grew. Yeah. <laughs> and Keith's did Yeah, yeah. Keith's did the same. <laughs> I was like a size six for like years. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now it's time for Lawrence's favorite part of solography. 21 Gestions. Oh. That's trademark. Oh, yeah. That's trademark. I'm coining that. I'm going to. You should. I'm going to go to I the love it. trademark That's board. Actually, board. Mm-hmm. I actually oh. laughed out loud when I heard that. Did you? Week. You yeah. LOL'd? I LOL'd. Did you oh. LMAO? No, I just went, ha <laughs> 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 so Your ass did not fall off. Okay. <laughs> uh, so first thing that pops in your mind. it be quick, 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 quick. Ready to go? Quick. Ready to go. All right. <laughs> All right. Favorite silhouette? Air Jordan 1. Okay, true. Nice. Do you plug your nose when you jump into the pool? I don't swim. Oh. oh. oh nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> most you've paid for shoes. Uh, I shouldn't share that, but let's just do this. <laughs> <laughs> I sold, I sold two pairs mm-hmm. of, sh- of Jordan threes. Plus I put money on top to oh, purchase I think I this know pair. This, yeah. What pair was it? Yeah. The Sean's. Oh yeah. I remember yeah, this yeah, one. Yeah. We had, okay, the, fine, we had fine. the talk. Yeah. yeah. Fine, yeah. fine, <laughs> fine. Yeah. Red or blue? Blue. Air or boost? Air for the looks, boost for the comfort. So I pick air though. I pick air. Okay. okay. Nice. Yeah. I was crew make socks you pick one. or no shows? Um, man, recently I've been rocking a whole lot of crew socks. Yeah, that's yeah. Like, that's the wave right now. Yeah, oh, weird. Original boxes or drop fronts? Definitely original boxes. As I sit in this room, like, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Joel's I, basement. I, I it looks so good. <laughs> I love to see that. Yeah, honestly. Um, pineapple on pizza. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know that, obviously, (laughs) but not everyone else does. Uh, Jason Mark or Crepe Protect? Uh, I've only used Jason Mark. True. Never use, yeah, Crepe Protect. True. What else do you collect? Um, nothing. I have a lot of clothes. So I think. Yeah, you do. You're horrible with that shit. Um, so if anything, that's going to be that. True. It's going to be clothing, yeah. Yeah, I think you have a pretty hefty Xenorobe collection. Your, your closet must be really big. That's no. I yeah. Before I moved in, before I moved in with uh, Aaron, it was just like, I came from two, two like closets and six drawers. Two closets and six drawers. Yeah. Two, yeah, two, bad. one closet and one drawer. <laughs> yeah. So I had to purge Dang. a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> um, favorite pattern on a shoe? Uh, elephant print. True. How many pairs? Ooh, I should have changed that one. No, Sorry, it's bro. all good. It's all good. You know what? It's all good. Um, <laughs> They're coming back. They're coming back. So it's okay. They're coming back. They're yeah, coming back. yeah. Fingers crossed. Um, I think I'm honestly though, but like even before the whole incident happened, I was trying to work uh, towards like under a hundred. Mm-hmm. True. Um, so yeah, I think I'm hovering around like ninety right now. Oh, True. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is Kawhi staying? Kawhi is staying. If we. Oh. If there's an if, I knew there was. An if. if there's gotta be an if. Um, now it's about to be a twenty minute discussion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Soft. Let's do this. I think uh, Kawhi is staying if we get another score. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. yeah. True. So you think we get AD? Do you think it has to be a trade deadline <laughs> score? Yeah. Or like trade? Do you think it has to be a trade deadline thing? Or you think it'd be an off-season, off-season promise? Season. Like we're like, yo, we're going to get somebody. And he'd be like, all right. If we don't trade fine. anyone and we <laughs> make it to game seven of the finals. He'll stay. He'll stay. Oh, How can true. you not? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, how can you, like, get to game seven? Yeah. And then not want to see what else you can do. In the Raps the next are, season? are tapering right now. I'm kind of scared. I know, like, man. I'm scared. They're, not, but they're playing right now. We'll see how they do. But. It shows you how big JV is. For sure. Oh, for sure. But know? they just offered him up for a trade today. Did you guys hear about that? Yeah. Oh, for who? Uh, it was Lowry, Lowry and JV for Mike Conley and yeah. Pau Gasol. I heard about that, too. Marcus Oh, I Marcus saw that. Marcus 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 I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind Connolly. Um, I don't know about Gasol. Yeah, we get hella old though, you know. Yeah, like, we would kind of is. we'd lose our youth. I'd like JB's not even twenty eight; he's twenty six, my oh. age. Yeah. yeah. So, Damn, so that's how I know. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. So Kawhi stays. Okay. Yes. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Answer. Positive energy. Mm-hmm. Spell Scarborough. B O O N I E S. Yay! Shout out to Scarberry. <laughs> oh man um, favorite sneaker store um i don't know if you guys have been but haven when they moved their location their new location um mm-hmm. which is two seconds away from my house yeah. it's nice. it's unbelievable oh, yeah. it's man beautiful. yeah it's, it's a nice. beautiful, beautiful spot beautiful. Nice spot. Yeah. beautiful spot yeah so haven haven mm-hmm. do you take your own sneaker photos i i don't take sneaker photos like i you do don't? like i've taken yeah. photos of them i just haven't like there is no documentation of it on social media. True. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Too scared. I don't know why. <laughs> Intimidating. <laughs> Getting True. into that world. Yeah, it is. <laughs> no, you're good, man. You're good. Yeah, man. We got you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Automatic shout out on kind of guns. Yeah, <laughs> sure. When you shoot a basketball, do you watch the ball or do you look at the net? Oh. Uh-huh. Uh, I shoot a basketball. I think I watch. I look at the net. Same. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. even know. I spin around and no, I turn around and run away. Up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, chill. Stuff. I look at my, I look at my own net. <laughs> <And> Clay, <laughs> Clay Thompson, jeez. Uh, um, laces tucked, tucked or wait, what did I say? Oh, tucked in or tied in a bow. Tied in a bow. Langonisa or Tocino? Oh, uh, Langonisa. <laughs> True. Hey. Langonisa. True. Um, number one grill of all time or three pairs from your top ten. See, it's hard. You know what? With this whole thing, I've been thinking about it. You had a whole week and you still don't know the answer? <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's just like, you, there's that second tier just before your grail. Yeah, exactly. True. So mm-hmm. now That's it, the top 10. You know what I mean? That's why, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think my answer will be like uh, like a top three from my top 10. Even though people will say it's a grail. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of people have been saying grail. So you would rather a top, like you would to have three of your, your top, top 10. Three of, your three top of 10. my top 10, yeah. What, which three pairs would you choose from your top 10? Um, you're getting the special 21 questions. You're getting like yeah, 25 no, no. questions. You're getting 21, 21 questions. A and explain <laughs> B and, ex- and explain your answer. Explain. And if no, please explain. Um, well, right now, man, like I, I've had my heart set on like the Storm Blue Union, uh, Union uh, collab. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, the I guess does this count the uh, the Atmos uh, Air Jordan One Safari Pack? Does that count? Oh yeah, as one. Why not? Yeah, that's a pack. Yeah, that's a pack. Your, it comes together. Yeah, your... comes together. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. Yeah. Take that. And uh, I don't know. My third one will be, you know what? A bread one that fits. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have bread ones that are nine and a half. I have bread. I have bread ones that are size eight. Oh, oh, oh man, the other direction. Man. Yeah, that yeah. hurts, bro. So yeah, you can still wear them, and they definitely won't crease. They but won't true. crease. Your yeah. toes are bust. Yeah, yeah, true. yeah. 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 So Final okay, it'll question. It'll work. It'll work. Call it, shoot it, man. Call Take, it out <laughs> Take out the insole. Take out the insole. Won't be comfortable, but you can still look fresh yeah. as... For an hour. Yeah. For, for a solid an hour. hour. Yeah. For a picture. Yeah. For, yeah. A picture. Yeah. for a picture, yeah. Um, finally, Apple Music or Spotify? Spotify. True. Boo. <laughs> it's only because I can't afford like $15 a month. It's not 15 is it? It's like $9, It's $15 bro. a month on a family plan. Yeah. Who are you paying? <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking about Netflix over here. Yeah, what? <laughs> I have an iPhone and have Spotify. It doesn't make no sense to me. 
It's integrated into your phone, man. See, what happened, <laughs> what happened, what happened was, was my other phone, <laughs> my other, other phone. <laughs> this is backed up from my old phone. <laughs> and if I wanted Apple Music, like, I'd have the to song. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, man. So that was 21 questions. Good job. Thank you, man. You passed. That was good, man. You passed. You passed. You passed. You got 15. <laughs> <laughs> you got almost more than half. You're yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. So now you can think about this one. You don't have to, like, okay. you know. Name three things that you feel are essential to be a sneakerhead. Three things to be essential. Um, man, I think storage space is key. Amen. I mean, yeah, storage yeah. space is key. Um, get you a girl who understands like a passion for yeah. it. That's number yeah. one, two, and three. That's mm-hmm. one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, yeah. Like, Yo, because if E didn't, she didn't support you, bro. Yeah. I feel like she'd be gone. Yep. Yeah. Honestly, Once you told her how much you need to yeah. insure for her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And for she sure. stayed. Yeah, and she yeah. stayed. Jeez. Yo, she helped me move to my brother's place. Bro. And and my, my, my dad's like, oh, he has, he has a lot of shoes. And she's like, oh, that's fine. It was like three cars worth of like shoes. And then and then my dad was like, are you sure you still want to stay? <laughs> <laughs> and she's still here. Yeah. No, she said, yes, you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. still here. Yeah. We're still here. <laughs> Um, yeah, storage space, um, the girl, and uh, just having the mindset that like doubling up is okay sometimes. It is okay sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I've learned that. What I about agree. what about tripling or quadrupling up, Keith? Um, <laughs> I'm not quite there yet. Oh man! <laughs> so, what would be your number one grail? Yeah, my number one grail. Yeah, mm-hmm. what would it be? I think my number one grail would be um, what's something I can't. <laughs> what's something I can't afford? You know, <laughs> you know what? You know what? I signed uh, JTH actually hey. from the Super Bowl. Jeez. Ooh, Ooh, nice. So Lawrence Jeez. has my grail. <laughs> Damn. Y'all yeah. can talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Off air. Off air. No, we can't talk. So no. sorry, <laughs> <laughs> we can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, but, uh, but no, uh, for the record, like Lawrence actually hooked me up for that, that, uh, JTH release. So I don't want to like open a wound if it's there, but did you get to keep that? Did you get to keep that pair? Was it part of the incident or can you no, divulge? It wasn't. It's safe. It's safe. Okay, good. It's okay, safe. Good. I didn't know how to word that properly. Clearly. <laughs> yeah. I just want, but it okay. Was, I'm glad yeah. it's safe. Um, yeah. You know what? Like, the, the most... brown one safe brown one bio beige. Man in the no, woods. bio beige. Oh, bio yeah. beige. Threes? Those are safe. safe. Okay. Those are safe. Yeah. The ones I had down there were pretty much like all, like summery stuff. Okay. Uh, so like the, obviously the fly knit stuff weren't going to mm-hmm. be, were there and like majority of like the white pairs of shoes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So. True. Those were a couple I had, to, I was going to check on. I yeah. wanted to make yeah. sure those oh, couple man. were okay. Shit, yeah, I man. did lose my Air Max one, like OGs and the blue pair. Uh, like the anniversary pair? Yeah. <laughs> It's okay, bro. Yeah. We'll help you. They're coming back. They're coming back. Uh-huh. They're coming back. The <laughs> yeah, police are gonna <laughs> police are gonna barge in there. Yeah. And they're just gonna kick down the door and they're gonna be like, Keith, here's your shoes. They're gonna kick down yeah. your door. Well, no, the the <laughs> thing was to like so I told I mentioned the shirt earlier, right? So the ones that like hurt the most were like my fire red threes. The pairs on the oh, shirt. The ones on the shirt. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. the fire red fives with three M tongue. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and there's something else I just I can't remember the right shirt now. pairs yeah the shirt pairs because I was like I have to have all those pairs mm. yeah, yeah, yeah 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 do you resell and if you do how do you do it um I don't resell I do try to um liquidate my assets yeah mm-hmm. um <laughs> that's a very business way to put yeah. it yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean and I use uh, like third party apps like uh, StockX or um, I've used GoDap once actually. Mm-hmm. Um, and if I do sell it, it's because it's I haven't used it. And it's still DS. It's mm-hmm. like been sitting in my closet for a year. Yeah. Yeah. And I usually end up giving it away for retail. Mm. True. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So, kind. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I. Yeah, I'll ask it. <laughs> It's on, the, it's on the sheet, man. Go ahead. It's on the I sheet. Know, yeah. it's not, but sorry, I wasn't, it's on top, top, top. I wasn't thinking when I wrote and then I thought about it now, but I'm sorry. Any memorable purchases? Um, like sentimental purchases? I'm sorry. Actually, just more recently. like <laughs> Okay, good. Um, okay, good. <laughs> the JTH pairs. Because mm. um, that was like, 
the first pair, the first pair, the Super Bowl pair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I had no chance in that at all, and I somehow was able to fit there, fit in that lineup, Mm. and I got a pair. And you bought me a junior chicken and ate it. (laughs) No, so Lawrence called me. Tell me the story. Tell me the story. Hold on. (laughs) So I get, I'm at work in Ajax, and then Lawrence calls me and texts me. And I was like, frantic. Yeah. <laughs> so I call him back. No answer. I was like, all right, cool. I'm like, Hey man, sorry. I missed your, mess- your call. He's like, Hey, go to the Jordan store right now. Uh, Cause like they're going to be selling the Super Bowl pairs. I was like, okay. So <laughs> I drove home. I took my time like getting ready to, and I was like, yo, I should, if I see Lawrence, he's probably hungry. If he's in line, I'm going to go stop off at McDonald's and get like a uh, junior chicken. So I call Lawrence. I see this line is massive. So I call him. Doesn't pick up. I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'm having a drink. <laughs> <laughs> um, is the thought that counts? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, bio beige pairs. I mean, because that was cool. Like, I lined up with my brother Mike. That was the first time he's ever lined up for anything. Mm-hmm. So, and we all got to hang out. That was so. a good line. Yeah. yeah. Was fun. And doggy yeah. was there. Yeah. yeah. Spoon. Yeah. Oh, the squad. Dope. Nice, nice. So, mm-hmm. we, we know you mentioned elephant print, but mm-hmm. what other features of a sneaker are something that, like, once you see it on a sneaker, you're just like, oh, I need that. Um, quality does quality count? Oh yeah, like yeah, the oh, yeah. quality. Yeah, oh, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Um, because I just recently like saw a few pairs and they look. Some of the leather look plastic. Mm-hmm. Like unfortunately, I just like recently acquired like the DMP pack. Mm-hmm. Um, ones. The oh DMP, yeah, that's right. We the were ones, talking about yeah. those. Yeah. yeah, and uh, yeah, the leather quality back when they came out was that 2009. They're poo poo. Yeah, it's like it's super plastic, and I'm like, mm. man, these are gonna crease. But you know what? Like, but yeah. they they look so much better when they crease. Yeah, mm. yeah, that, especially those that specific ones. Pair. Yeah, yeah those like that's my beater. Pairs. Even yeah. the Celtic yeah. one. Yeah, I didn't well, wear. Like, I haven't worn my Celtics that much, so I don't even know how it looks when it's creased. To be honest, as okay. Marvin, I, he has my pair. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they look good. Cool. I don't know. Um, what what's keeping you into sneakers right now? Um. I don't know. It's uh, it's kind of just like still the hunt for like the OG colorways. Um, the shirt you pairs? Know, the shirt pairs. Yeah. Um, I even had uh, some hot lavas and stuff. Some like OG Hirachi mm-hmm. colorways that I mm-hmm. unfortunately lost. So I was kind of just like, I don't want to start, start copying pairs that are like just different colorways. Mm-hmm. I wanted to get like the OG pairs first. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So it started off with just the Jordans and then I was like, what's like Nike has to say, have mm-hmm. to say and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, or even Adidas, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Adi- we like Adidas. Adidas. <laughs> yeah, yeah man. everything. Yeah. I like Adidas. So that's what, that's what I go for too. <laughs> like when something, a new technology is introduced, you want the first one. Yeah. It's kind of like the flagship colorway. Yeah. yeah. I agree. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I like it hurt to see those go. Yeah. It's okay, bro. Don't yeah. worry. I've been to come back. Yeah, to come back. <laughs> to come back. Any future plans for Keith? Uh, I'm getting hitched. I'm getting hitched uh, yeah. this summer. Oh, yeah, there is that. There's that. Yeah, that's small that. thing. We wanted shoe information, but that's cool. Shoe information. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, he's, he's locking down the girl who's in his top three essentials. Yeah, too. true. She's true. true. She's in, You're not wrong. You gotta yeah. get that. Um, mm-hmm. That and also, I think I'm just gonna be. Uh, I'm going to try to focus more on like shooting, not only shoes, but kind of just like shooting more stuff and posting more stuff. I feel like, you know, I take a photo and post it maybe like once a month. A mm-hmm. month, a year. Once, once a year. A year. Yeah. Yeah. Your, um, your annual post. My annual yeah. post, yeah. <laughs> and it's usually um, when you're on vacation. Yeah. <laughs> it's usually when I'm on vacation. Up your back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Looking into the sea. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I don't like looking at cameras, man. I can't. I can't do that. Well, stuff. if you're taking shoot pictures, you don't have to look at the camera. You can look wherever you want. True. Yeah. Just saying. Mm-hmm. I'm. I'm trying to just, just figure out what hasn't been done yet in terms of like shoes, and, like fashion, because I like both. You know, I mean, I want to show off like the fit. I want to show off. Well, the look shoe. what Alvin's doing, man. Alvin's yeah, turned man. into a flash fashion blog over there. For sure. So, yeah. Trying. <laughs> doing some good <laughs> stuff, bud. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm just trying to find out new angles to kind of just share just think about it this way everything's been done it's how you do it mm-hmm. yeah. correct do it it's better. not it's not the first idea sometimes yeah it's like it's always like the second yes. or third yeah because yeah. Yeah. literally i like man it's we've tried to do stuff we've tried to think of stuff yeah that's mm-hmm. like oh what hasn't been done yet yeah yeah everything's been done yeah, yeah. we're just doing it our way you don't need mm-hmm. to do it first you need to do it best Ooh, Ooh. high nice. five <laughs> Hey, <laughs> this guy's been dropping bars like two weeks in a row. <laughs> two weeks in a row. Yeah, right. Bars, 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 bars. Oh man, I think that's it for Keith's uh, solog- <laughs> solography. Solography. Solog- I like that. Solography? That's cool, man. That's what it was, right? Solography. Solography. 
Is that what we're going to name our guests? Sure. So yes. 21 Guestions and Solography. Yeah. True. Coined. 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 CGS said it first. Yeah. You heard it here first. Mm-hmm. Um, promos? One promo. So our homies in the YYC are holding their sneaker swap event on uh, May 25th in Calgary. Um, so make sure you check them out. Um, their Instagram is at YYC Soldiers. That's S O L E D I E R S. Um, and also, uh, sneak peek for you guys who listen to the pod. We're going to be holding a contest, um, for a 997 New Balance book. It comes um, with like a poster. Did you open that poster? It comes with a poster. That poster is sick. And some Nuts. stickers, no? And stickers? I think they're patches or stickers. Yeah, I didn't know. Either way, the they're lit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll be posting that on on our Instagram this week. Uh, this week, yeah, yeah. It'll uh, be up possibly by the time this airs. I think by the time this it. airs, yeah. So never mind. Sorry, guys. It's not a sneak peek, but it is a sort of. You know, sort of. <laughs> you heard it here first. You, you heard it here first. If you get the leaked version of this podcast, you heard it here first. <laughs> you got first dip. If someone steals my laptop, yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, that's it for promos, man. Mm-hmm. Um, else? yeah. So. Like, obviously, Keith, when you told us what happened, like, it sucked. Like, we were like, bro, like, I yeah, I, I wanted them. to cry. Yeah, yeah, like, he told us. I messaged I you. you. Like, yeah, I you hit me out. up. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I felt like shit. Um, so I talked to the guys, and I was like, I'm just going to see if there's anything I can do. Um, so if you want to turn around and open that box that's right behind you to your other side. <laughs> um, <laughs> to your other side. <laughs> um, like, it's not much, and it's not going to replace anything. But I kind of went through, like, my stocks just to see if there's anything that I could give up. Um, and like I said... There's four pairs in here, guys. <laughs> yeah. It's nothing crazy, but I know that you mentioned that you like lost out on some fly knits, mm-hmm. so that's uh, like Ooh. a pair. I don't know. What, what is that one? That's a oh. pair of uh, Grain Volt trainers. Volt trainers. Damn. Um, there's also the original red and black racers in there. Ooh. And there's also the original uh, oh, I remember yeah, yeah, chlorine I remember ones. And then there's a brand new pair of uh, Asics there as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> University nice. Red. That's yeah, University right Red. Here, yeah, that's bro. what it was. And then uh, Asics Gel Mai, because you're on your Ninja Vibes. So I think you could pull those oh, off. Damn. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. so I, like I said, I know it's not much. I know it's not going to replace anything, but I just mm-hmm. wanted to reach out a little bit. You know? No, I appreciate yeah. that, man. You, Thank you. Much course, love, man. brother. Thank got you. you. If you were a ten and a half, <laughs> <laughs> right, bro, if you were an eleven yeah, guy, you'd have stacks. Hey, man. Oh, put on socks, you know. Right. Right. Double, he's, double he's triple fine with the too big. You know yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll grow into them. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Dang, I appreciate that, guys. Thank no, you so course. much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. No, thanks for coming, bro. Yeah. Thank no, you thank for coming. You, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for the invite. Thank Hope you. Hope you had fun. First yeah. of first of many, you know. First of yeah, many. absolutely, oh, yeah. For absolutely. Sure. Regular guests, regular guests. I'll be back. Yeah, for sure. Lit. All right, guys. So mm-hmm. thank you to everyone who has supported us and has been listening to our pod. Um, wherever you guys are taking in the episode, please leave a comment, review, follow, and or subscribe. How many stars, guys? Five. Cinco. Thank you. Cinco, cinco. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have a thing called CGS Talk on Facebook. Uh, it's where we put up, you know, reviews. Sean Go puts up his his reviews. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People sell stuff sometimes, mm-hmm. and essentially, we want it to be used to talk about sneakers. Um, you can find that at uh, facebook.com backslash groups backslash cgs dot talk. Um, can I got, hit up canagotschool.ca for all of our recent reviews. I have one for New Balance. Joel has one for the Air Max 720. Lawrence is going to have one for the... Westbrook 0.2. Yeah. yeah. And hit us up. If you guys want to write about something, review something, hit us up. Yeah. yeah let us know. Guest written stuff um, all the time. We yeah. like ghostwriters. Yeah. But mm-hmm. we, you won't be a ghostwriter. We'll give we'll all credit, the credit we'll to credit you. We'll credit you. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, hit us up. Um, if you'd like to join us on True to Size, if you have any questions or suggestions for a fire round feedback, shoot us an email or DM at no, sorry. Shoot us a DM or an email <laughs> at CanadaGotSoul at gmail.com. And don't forget to use our hashtag CanadaGotSoul for a feature. I've been Alvin Martinez. You can find me at M-I-S-T-E-R-Q and then Mart. I'm Joel Hernandez. You could find me at Joe Dooney, J-O underscore D, three O's N-E-Y. This has been Lawrence Hopkins. You can find me at L Doggy Styles on Instagram. Woof. Mr. KT. Uh, you can find me at Mr. KT on <laughs> Instagram, and that's it. His album's coming out. Did you hear that? <laughs> it's dropping. It's dropped. It's called Key Sweat. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Keith. Hey. Keith. Oh my god. I was six. Oh my god. Six. <laughs> Thank you all for listening to us talk about sneakers, and please remember to rock your kicks. This has been True to Size, and we are CGS, and we are out. Peace. He's the gone. real, the real key sweat. Real <laughs> Thanks, bro. Thanks I for coming, man. Thanks for coming, man. Thank you, thank you for having me. <laughs>